got this display for markets on AliExpress, but it's like the one that I have that I use already, but it's higher, but it came with zero instructions, so I have no idea what I'm doing. After lunch now, I hurt my finger doing this, but it's finally done. Let's try it out. It works. <laughs> I think it works okay. This is such a pretty green. It should be like a little bit more of a dark green but depending on where you're looking, you can see it a little bit better. I really like it. And I'm kind of in love with this color combo. I love this blue. I think it's the perfect blue. Only did one blue, so next week I think I'm going to print more so I can take more t-shirts. But yeah, this is the result. Hi, I... I think I still haven't shown my face um, on this vlog, so hello, welcome to another video. I had um, the berry pre-orders and I'm going to have my first Portuguese con like convention this weekend. So I got, I started to get ready for that. I got a little bit traumatized since the last time I had a con. It was the one in Sevilla for Manga Fest and it didn't went very well. I sold like two t-shirts and one sweatshirt and some or something like that. So I'm a a little afraid of doing too much so I only got a few designs ready this is all what I prepared so far by the way I also got some prints ready as well I only printed some of the chickens and this one's prints are not something that I usually sell but I'm going to try to take them to this con as well washi tapes are ready I have some pins here sticker packs and then packaging thank you cards and all of that and then in there it's still like ongoing but I have my t-shirts in there I'm just going to take those ones and hopefully I'll sell them we'll see thought I could add a little bit of a voiceover here uh, because this video it's like all over the place a bit I don't really talk much um, about what I'm doing or what I'm going to be doing next which I normally enjoy doing um, but yeah basically I got ready all the products that I could and I went by bus to Lisbon to do the mounting of my booth basically what I did is I left some stock in the studio and a lot of products products I only did at the end of the mounting so I finished the mounting at around maybe 4 p.m. or something so I still came to the studio on that day and I came back and I basically then um, add all the stock there so this is was my booth on the day of the mounting so I didn't took any stock or anything like that so I did that on the next day came and went to Lisbon again oh I went to Lisbon and came again but I didn't want to have two bags in there 
otherwise it will be really crowded because I don't have much space. I'm going to take these things to have like a backup next to the table. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will be useful. Okay, so then it was time to add all the stock that I had already on the bags and I was on my way to Lisbon again the next morning, the first day of the um, the first day of the con. The con that I was doing, it's called Iberanim by the way. There's two uh, in Portugal, one in Lisbon and another one in Porto. And this is how my booth was looking on the first day or maybe already on the second day, I'm not sure. Uh, Saturday was a little bit more busy than Sunday, but it was still a very good one. It was one of my best um, markets slash conventions up to this day. Uh, as you can see, I tried some different things. I also have my new display that you saw me showing on the beginning of the video. I thought it would be fun to also show you how I was saving all my stock on the back. This little cart thing was so, so helpful. It kept all the things so organized, but I can only take them when it's like in Portugal. Otherwise I don't have the space or when I'm taking a car or something. Um, and then I also kept some boxes with like pins and my stickers and all of that and I kept the bookmarks on the table. As I said, on Sunday it was a little bit more quiet and actually on Saturday I almost ran out of earrings. I don't know why earrings have been selling a lot better. I think my designs are also getting better maybe and simpler. I'm not sure, uh, but earrings is something that it takes me a while to uh, sell but on sun Saturday they sold a lot um, so on Saturday evening I actually came to the studio and I picked up some pieces and I have been putting together pieces uh, earrings during Sunday morning um, as you can see it was a bit quiet I rather be standing because I feel like I do a lot more sales but I was so tired that I kept sitting down all in all I really enjoy the con even though the organization and everything else was a bit of a mess and all over the the place but are really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to get back into it. I'm starting my week on a Wednesday and this is how we're coming to the studio. I feel like a little turtle. <laughs> It's a week after a convention, so I'm basically just starting my week on a Wednesday. I took, like it was um, a bank holiday here in my town on Monday, so I didn't feel too guilty for taking the day off. But yesterday I was still feeling very tired, so I ended up staying at home um, and taking care of like booking the trips of some conventions I'm going to do on the summer. On I'm going to be at Tokomi in Germany. And I'm going to be at Atsutsa, Atsutsa Con, I am hoping I pronounced that right, in Ghent, in Belgium. I'll have to book some trips for that because, yeah, doing conventions in summer, especially when you are in Portugal, in like, in the corner of Europe, <laughs> it can get expensive to go to those middle countries. I still haven't brought like almost anything from the convention. I still have two big bags at home, a hanger and like all sorts of things to bring back. And but yeah, I was already too heavy and I didn't want to bring anything else because there's no elevator here. I'm on the first floor and I have a lot of stairs to go up. Today it's going to be a really cool day. I don't know if you remember a while ago I did some experiments with clay and I want to start making some small 3D figurines of my characters to add on the shop, but also to take to markets. Yeah, I need to do a live for Patreon and my membership today, and I thought it would be really cool to paint the one that I did so far. Let me show you, it looks so cute. So I got this little box here, and this is where I'm keeping all my clay stuff. So I have all of these. I have my paints that I brought as well. This is the thing that I did so far. 
it's the little mango guy like i'm not even going to um send it down or anything i'm just going to try to do it like this and see how it looks but yeah i'm just so happy with him it's been a while since i wanted to paint it um but yeah i always postpone it so i always think that lives are a nice way to do some work that i'm always postponing it postpone so yeah we're going to paint this one today Okay, get ready for a jump scare. <laughs> the poor thing. I don't know what I was thinking that it was a good idea to put the eyes like like on the inside. Why would I think this will look nice? Of course not. So next time I'm going to do them flat or like a ball or something coming outside like the little thing here. Then I had some issues on here because I couldn't find my yellow uh, acrylic So I use gouache. So every time I try to repaint this area the gouache below would stop lifting So this is what happened. Oh god, it was a bit hard, but here we go This is the first one. I'm going to try to put resin on it um, I think it's going to be a little tricky because I never put resin in one something this big and two like three-dimensional So I'm not sure how that is going to go But yeah, let's try it out. I'm not sure if I have enough resin for this, but we'll see I think I ran out of battery exactly when this fall on the table. I had some accidents, as you can see. I still need to figure out the best way to add the resin um, because this one, it's also a little bit too low. So, but I think it looks cute. It's the first, first prototype and next time I'm going to have yellow. So it's going to look a little bit better. But I think for the first one, it's really, really cute. Yay! Next time I also want to add a little bit less resin in here because the mouth looked very cute with the um, having a little bit of like um, uh, depthness, I think that's the name. So I might want to keep that for next time. Shouldn't have started with one so big and so hard, but yeah, quite happy with him. Now I have a new desk buddy. Let's go to the art shop. <laughs> I really need to take this vinyl so nobody has time for that. I'm wearing my froggies today. already got back these were the paints that I got because the issue that I had before it was because the acrylics that I have they were 
very transparent so the girl on the shop said this was the best option yeah they were quite cheap it was like two euros and they have like a lot of colors that you can buy separate and then i ended up getting some brushes because you can never have too much brushes and i needed this one with like a very thin tip and smaller ones so yeah i can't wait to try them out so this was actually the weekend after the Portuguese convention and I had a book release! I was so happy with it! I loved seeing the characters, especially in a big form. I had to talk in public, which I don't really like, but then I did some signings and everyone was super nice. It was really nice to meet the author and all of that. So overall, it was a really nice weekend and I took a bit of little footage to show you guys. Monday of a new week. I have a few things to show you, including the books from the book presentation that you should, you probably uh, saw some footage um, before, but pins have arrived. I ordered a restock of the berry pins, but I also ordered a new one and yeah, I'm excited to see it. I've been meaning to do this pin for a while now. Oh, I forgot to tell them to pack them. No. They are all bagged in plastic. I always tell them to wrap them in tissue paper. Like they normally come like this. Oh, they send me on little plastic bags. This is the little berry pin. He looks super cute. And then I ordered some froggies. I kind of even like the unboxing of the, um, the ones in tissue paper better because it's not as a spoiler, it's really a surprise because they are all wrapped a bit thinner but it looks so cute little froggy it looks cute so yeah, one more for the collection I really love the colors and I love that the greens match so yay! Okay, let's put this aside. I need to put them on the backing cards and all of that. But I also want to show you my book. Basically, I had the, um, the launch of the book this weekend and I did some signings of some copies and stuff like that. This is the final result for the cover and then the back cover. We ended up having some mishaps on the printing. I don't know if you can tell, but the cover is not centered. So let me show you a little bit of the inside. Yeah, this is one of my favorite spreads. It was the first one that I did. I also love this page. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. Um, this is a book that I did for the non-profit, um, it's going to be available on Portuguese shops as well and it's going to be several volumes for the same collection, so this guy is called Baltazar, is the main character and we are going to do, um, this one is the first one of 12, so each book are going to be talking about emotions and this is one of my favorite pages as well. What do you think? I love the size, I think it turned out perfect, this is for like a... Uh, from 9 to 12 years old, more or less. I thought I could take this time to chat a little bit with you guys because it has been a bit crazy. I'm so sorry for not posting for a whole month, but it kind of felt nice to have a little break, even though I just had a little break a while ago. Not even like two months ago, but anyway. Um... I've been really busy and all the weekends I had something and normally I used to post on Sundays, not Sundays, um, I used to post on Fridays so it was a little bit tight because basically on a weekend, the first weekend of May I think um, or second weekend, I had my first Portuguese con, uh, it was Iberanim as I said before so basically, if you've done cons before, you know that that whole week and sometimes even more than that, you just spend it um, just preparing everything for it um, and it was a bit crazy and since it was only my second con ever, I had, I never know how much to take of each things, but since I make all of most of my products um, 
it takes me a while especially if, like for earrings and stuff and as i said earrings uh, did really well on that con and i wasn't expecting it so even on the weekend of the con i came to the studio and i made more earrings and they absolutely take me forever then the weekend after that as you saw i had the book launch so it was two weekends in a row um and at this point i was already so so tired and uh yeah it was really overwhelming especially like i had to talk to people as i said before like i had to speak in public um my voice was shaking but it's fine i don't really have footage because my boyfriend basically focused on me talking and totally forgot to film um so i had a only a little bit um of footage and then right now what you're seeing it's me preparing for the week the weekend after all of this so the third weekend uh, in a row that i had something going on and i was getting ready for mcm in london i don't think i mentioned this on the video um so yeah i was going to uh mcm comic con in london i was going to be helping jess from jess was here i mentioned this like at the end of the video but right now i thought i can mention here as well because otherwise you'll have no idea what i'm doing so the pins arrived just in time and i was basically getting everything ready um, for that and all the stock and all of that and I didn't have a lot of time so yeah I was working really really fast or at least trying. <laughs> Frogs are done. I ended up doing some thank you cards. This is how it looks. And then I also did some new ones for the other pins. I was using like square thank you cards, but I just want them all to fit together. So for now I did like rectangular ones and I did them with a lot um, a better paper and thicker and all of that. So on markets and stuff, they look better. and. I'm kind of enjoying seeing these thank you cards now uh, instead of the square ones, so I'm glad that I did. So I'm just going to finish putting pins in packing cards so I can take them to London. Okay, this is how the other pins look on the backing card. So we have Rocky, Little Snail, the Bee, and the Little Mouse. And I just think that like having them on these backing cards make them pop so much more, especially the mouse because I had a dark background to match the print that I did a while ago. And I also put my website on the backing cards now. I think it makes more sense and also my new lettering with the new logo that I've been changing little by little. You can see I have a lot of earrings to bake. I first put like smaller items just to make sure that the oven is in like a um, temperature because sometimes if the settings are wrong or something like that it might start and pieces so. I love this part. 
Then, of course, it was time to mount earrings all over again. <laughs> and this absolutely went so bad. So I had all of these big plans of making like 15 of each, not only just for London, but since in July and June, I have like a lot of markets and cons. I wanted to get ready for that as well. And I did like a lot of earrings, a lot of pieces. You're going to see them next, like all baked and stuff. Um, and I even was able to apply resin on all of them, but I basically ended at like, I don't know, 8, 9 p.m. and I still had to pack everything on the bags to take to London. So I only finished mounting the earrings at like 3 a.m. the night before getting on the flight to London and I had to leave home to go get the bus to Lisbon at like 7 a.m. or something like that. So it was a little crazy and of course I didn't mount not even half the earrings that I wanted to mount because on top of that I ran out of earring uh, like pieces, like the little um, things that I used to mount them. A mess. <laughs> okay, so these are all the pieces. I made and that I have to put resin on but yeah a lot to do and then I still need to do prices because I only have prices in euros and I need to make prices in pounds and also print like a QR code with my Instagram or something so yeah let's work we have a lot to do <laughs> To be honest, I have no idea how I even added the resin in all of these pieces. Look at all of them. I guess I'm just like working faster. And also I would like to mention that this mask that I'm using, it's definitely not enough to work with resin, but my filter one, it's like in a really bad state and this was the only one that I had. I know it's not enough, but it's better than like not wearing anything please wear a mask when working with resin because it's extremely toxic and you can get a lot of health problems so this is my <laughs> warning for you if you are starting out but then it was finally time to go to wait i should have never waited so long london to go to london <laughs> Here. Okay, so I arrived at Excel and I'm sorry, I didn't really post any footage of me mounting and I basically only noticed now that this footage was in like slow motion, <laughs> but it kind of looks nice. But yeah, I didn't really was able to film anything more than this, not only with the booth, but like all of the things because it was incredibly busy, <laughs> like I never have been in such a busy thing and I know I know in advance it was going to be busy, but I think I didn't expect it to be <laughs> as much. So I'm sorry, I didn't get a lot of footage, um, but it was such a nice experience. I'm going to be talking a little bit more down, um, a little bit more further in the video. So yeah. <laughs> I think I'm even taking this out because in three weeks I'm leaving for Germany for the commie, so I think I'll just restock it. Hi guys, it's a few days later. I'm doing some notepads in the back, but I'm a lot rested now. I came back from London last Wednesday, it's now Friday. It was like a full day of travel and I was so, so tired, but I'm feeling a little bit more restful now. I still haven't wrapped my mind <laughs> around it, but I had so, so, so much fun. It was so nice um, to be part of such like a big event. Thank you so much, Jess, again, for taking me along. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, with Jess during the weekend. It was really nice to, you know, chat to people and being in such a busy environment. Um, it was kind of crazy, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had a, like a little uh, corner over there um, on Jess's booth. Um, so I sold a few earrings and some washies. I'm really, really happy with the experience. It was really, really tiring, but really rewarding. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you the goodies that I got there. So let me show you. <laughs> I only walked around a bit on Sunday morning because yeah, it was really busy. Um, but look at the tags just made they're so cute um so this is for a friend it's not for me but 
uh, I want to show you anyway because this t-shirt it was so so cute um, then I got these two pins from Jess and this one was a trade like I love this guy it looks so cute it's actually part of Jess June uh, Patreon box so please go grab it I, didn't, I don't have some of the things that I got because it was a t-shirt and two pairs of socks and I already used them and I also got some socks from Jess but oh well um, so I got this bookmark from Alice Illustrate her stuff was so adorable so I need to get I needed to get some and I got this bookmark the t-shirt and the socks are from Jeannie J and then <laughs> I saw that Ruth Ammon was uh, there on, with a booth on the Arcy Sally so I needed to get some goodies so I got some froggy goodies I got a bookmark, I had to get this pin, I wanted this pin for a while now and then I found out that Pipa's art was there as well she's a Portuguese artist slash YouTuber that I've been following for a while and her style is just perfection I mean, look at the quality of this print, it's just amazing and I love the gold foil and all of that so yeah, I was really happy that she was over there as well there were so many incredible artists um, but yeah, these were the goodies that I got. I wish I could have filmed a little bit more, but yeah, it was incredibly busy, so there was no time for that. Not even during the mounting and dismounting, because yeah, we were so tired and I couldn't be bothered, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really, really loved it. I really want to participate in the future. I actually tried to participate in the Artist Ali twice already, but I always get refused. Uh, but I'm going to try again for um, October edition, but yeah we'll see how that goes i'm going to finish this vlog because i need to get ready for two markets that i'm going to have in june and i'm going to have um cons almost every weekend in july i'm actually going to be at the Komi in germany uh, in the first weekend of july and then on the second weekend i'm going to be at susa at susa con i think that's how you pronounce it um in ghent in belgium so if you want to come say hi i'm going to be like in the middle middle of europe um and then I'm just going to have some cons here in Portugal as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't all over the place because I haven't posted on YouTube for like a month or something. I hope you still enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed like going to London and Iberanim um, here in Portugal with me. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye!